Hi, and welcome to a Movies You May Have Missed supplemental episode. Uh, something I wanted to kind of get off my chest here. Uh, this is sort of a plea for help from movie snack packaging manufacturers. Uh, Marie and I went to go see The Brothers Bloom a couple weeks ago. And while the movie is great, it's really charming, it's a lot of fun. Ryan Johnson, who um, directed uh, and wrote Brick, which you might have seen us cover on the main show uh, a couple weeks back, uh, the entire experience was sort of ruined for me by the, well, by the audience, really. Um, I'm sitting next to a guy who's got his box o milk duds and the entire time he's just sitting there shaking his box of milk duds like a rattle and every time i would go like look at him or you know, I, at one point i even did have to ask him to stop doing that somehow i was the unreasonable one for ruining his movie going experience apparently he can't watch a movie unless he's shaking a box of milk does so that just got me thinking about how these snacks are actually packaged for us and it's all noisy I, now it, to, to be fair in real life i'm a recording engineer so you know my ears are kind of always on but it's just a cacophony of crinkling and rolling and and cracking and it's just really obnoxious. And I think that really kind of detracts from the movie going experience as a whole. Um, that We don't pay this money to go and have a living room experience. We pay this money to go and have a movie experience. So I got to think, uh, I was thinking about just the shape of the box and they want you to open it from one side here so that when you open the box, you, pour tasty treats out. And I know that there's a psychological reason behind that because I think theater owners and candy owners are hoping if enough people hear, oh, people will think, oh, that's a tasty treat and, and I need to go get more. Well, just, just as a hey, howdy, hi to the people that sell this stuff, that's not what we're thinking. We're not thinking, oh, that noise means tasty treat. I should go buy more. We're thinking, oh my God, stop that noise. <laughs> So I was thinking about it and thought if we had candy that opened up like a tray, we would actually be able to grab more and the candy is not nearly as noisy as when you're shaking a box around. So I'm actually hoping, you know, movie candy manufacturers that you rip off this idea, use it. I, I, I would love to see this idea implemented because this, this doesn't make as much noise. It's also one of the main reasons why um, I, I, I go to the movie theaters that I do. I don't go to AMC's because they put their popcorn in a cr crinkly bag. I annoy myself eating popcorn in a crinkly bag. I end up in LA, I end up going mostly to the Arclight because they still use popcorn containers. This doesn't make noise. Even though it's a big drum shape and when you're getting into the bottom, there's a little extra noise because of that. There's you eat popcorn. It's a container. It, it contains the popcorn. And the one manufacturer to actually get this sort of tray idea right, unfortunately, has to wrap it in crinkly cellophane. And why do we have so many snack packages that rely on this crinkly cellophane? One, it's just disposable plastic, so that sucks. But anytime the climactic high point of the movie, you want a red vine, let me just and you're trying to like do it quietly, which just prolongs the whole process. And that's ridiculous. It drives me crazy. So really this, this doesn't have like a cute wrap up or a cute button. I, I really would hope that theater owners, because you know, movie ticket sales are down. The DVD experience, the home video experience is getting much, much better with crazy awesome HD TVs and lots of people being able to afford surround sound and stuff like that. I would really hope that theater owners and the companies they do business with would just take a look at a few simple things to kind of help us enjoy this movie theater experience a bit more because it wouldn't take much. It, it, something like this could be so simple to implement and would be just one, one thing, one little thing that would help me enjoy the movie theater experience more. I really hope something changes soon because I think there is something really valuable about that shared movie going experience. 
And uh, I would hate to lose that, but lately going to the movies has just been an exercise in frustration. And, and I know a lot of you guys have to have your own pet peeves about going to the movies too. So please share them in the comments or on the blog or anything like that. And uh, please remember to join us for new episodes of our main show, Movies You May Have Missed. New episodes every Wednesday. We just released an episode on Wednesday on A Guide to Recognizing Your Saints, which was a lot of fun to talk about. And I hope you'll join us for that. But in the meantime, I'm Juan. This is a table full of movie candy and have fun watching some movies. Thanks for watching.